Do you think that people ha give their child a false sense of reality when they uh, try to play like everything's perfect in front of the child? Like, oh, we're not going to argue in front of the child. Oh, we're not going to diss in front of the child. Because in my opinion, maybe if you knew how to, if you knew how to argue and argue in front of the child led to, I want to say like, you know, y'all coming up with a solution, y'all learn how to compromise and that child can see that. That's a healthy discussion. You know what I mean? Compared to the people that tries to say, oh, we're not going to argue for it. So now the child is in no conflict resolution. What do you say to that? I say that, um, like, they, it, you, the, the, the world is not perfect. So let them see the flaws. Like, what I'm saying, if, if, it's, if, you, if you plan on having a healthy argument, like, I'm not planning on having, but if, the, if you know that the outcome of the argument is going to be healthy. Like, if you know how... How if, if I, I'm arguing with you and you arguing with me, right? With a woman, right? I'm going back and forth with my woman, right? As long as I know that, hey, at the end of the day, this is going to be done with respect. They need to see that people can agree to not disagree. Right. I mean, to can agree to disagree, mm -hmm. right? But if y'all going to be arguing and it's going to come to blows, then that can be detrimental right. to the child. All right. All right. All right. All right. And you just sit down, you leave. Now you're just getting a bad